Okay, today I thought I'd talk about uh, a, a trigger word for me, and the word is seamless. Um, in this time where people are still uh, trying to uh, urgently move people to working from home and or just adopting the cloud, and they weren't anticipating it. I mean, it's been two years, but it still seems like it comes up as though we just need to do it now. Um, you know, there's this uh, rush to get things done. There's no budget because they hadn't accommodated for it. Um, people are shifting and moving. Um, but what I'm running into a lot is uh, give us a quote. Um, we need it for Monday and uh, we need a migration that's seamless. Well, I don't know that it's realistic. I don't know that it's realistic to expect seamless anytime, really. Um, and if a vendor's promising you seamless, I'd be asking some serious questions. Um, you know, because seamless means planning. Seamless means uh, analyzing, looking for problems and identifying them. So when you go to do that cutover, um, it could be seamless. But if we're in a rush to start at Monday and we need the lowest price, the lowest bid, um, you know, seamless ain't coming. Um, what we're looking for is a vendor that's reactive, someone that's ready to um, respond quickly, has the people ready to respond quickly, to um, provide as seamless an experience as is possible. So yeah, that word seamless is a real red flag for me. Um, usually it's mentioned off the cuff um, and uh, with some intent. I can tell there's some intent, which is later, I'm gonna remind you that I said it was seamless because uh, I've, I've run into this as well. Um, and it's not cool. Um, so if we're going to be proactive, if we're going to do lots of work, we're going to do lots of uh, analyzing and you've got budgets, let's talk about seamless. But if you're not, then let's talk about being reactive, um, working together to communicate and uh, setting some realistic expectations about thrusting change on your organization, um, you know, with your tiny budget, and uh, with your rush schedule. So if you are doing a migration, um, I do recommend finding a little budget for um, trying to, to, to find where the problems might be. Um, and so that might be more upfront analysis. It might be for um, more resources on cutover day so that you can um, respond as quickly as possible to make sure everyone gets on their feet and gets going. Um, and so with that, I would love to hear from my peers, colleagues, um, you know, are there, are there words that you watch for? Are there red flags? Are there triggers that um, catch your attention? You know, it doesn't end up in the fine print, but it's, it's you know, there's a statement there lingering that makes you uncomfortable um, based on, you know, budget and time and reality. Uh, let me know in the comments below.